run. Just run. Hi guys, it's Adam and welcome to another video. So in today's video, I've got a charity shop haul for you. I went around my local run of charity shops and I actually got a few items, so I didn't strike out today. I didn't get one item or anything like that. I actually got six items today, so considering where charity shops are at at the moment, I'm pretty happy with that. Um, and for whatever reason, you know, as I talked about on the Our Charity Shops Bet Dead for Resellers video, for whatever reason, charity shops are... Uh, seemingly quite poor for me at the moment and as I say I touched on loads of different reasons why that might be if you haven't checked out that video then maybe you'd like to do so I'll put a card up somewhere at some point on this video I'm sure hopefully I will remember to do that but with that being said let's get on with this video and let me share with you what I picked up today so first off as you can see here we've got this really really lovely quality uh, Trilby and it's by Christie's so of course uh, that's what indicates the quality. Uh, it's by Christie's and it's uh, Robbie the hat's called. I don't know why it's called Robbie. Someone's, some designer's obviously chosen that name. Um, and it's 100% wool and it really is a nice one. And I looked at it and I thought that is really, really lovely. It's got these feathers in it here. I love to see a Trollby with these feathers in. Um, now, I did pay a little bit for this and... I was umming and ahhing and I was thinking really I shouldn't pay that. But I paid five quid for it. Now, I'm thinking, if I wait a little bit, I can get 20 quid for this hat. It's a nice one. Really, I wouldn't normally pay a fiver for it, but I just couldn't resist. You know what I'm like? If there's fat lava of his hats, sometimes my emotions get the better of me a little bit, and I can't make a complete good business decision. Sometimes... I sacrifice a little bit of a margin and I make too much of a decision with my heart and it's never really a good thing to do. But yeah, I just had to pick this up, being the, the subject matter that it was. Um, so yeah, five quid for that, hopefully 20 quid. Um, but as I say, I might have to wait a little bit to, to get that, but I don't mind waiting on it. And uh, it's, it's just a really lovely quality hat. And to be honest, I would have just picked it up for myself if I wasn't getting it to resell. So worst comes to worst, I could always have it for myself if, it, if, if I can't get a decent price for it. But I think someone will have that for 20 quid. So yeah, that's quite nice, that one. So next we've got this little unicorn plush. Um, and I paid £3 for that one there. And it's tagged with... Well, I don't think you see that very well, actually. But it's tagged with Universal Studios there. Is that what it says? Yeah, Universal Studios. I don't know what film this is from or I don't know what it's from or a TV program or something. I'm really not sure. Maybe it's not from either. Maybe it's just literally a standard unicorn. Um, but I'm thinking maybe about $12.99, $14.99 on this one. I've seen other unicorns that have been in pre-owned condition. One went for about... 12 like 10 to 12 quid when it was pre-owned actually it wasn't the same one as this it was a different one but it was universal studios again and it was tagged universal studios it didn't have its um brand new tag on it just had a tag at the back but it said universal studios and then there was other ones that had gone for like three or four quid on auction that were pre-owned so i'm thinking because this is new with its tag I think around twelve ninety nine, something like that should be okay, plus my postage, possibly the fourteen ninety nine, but yeah, three quid for that one anyway. So next we've got this uh sculpture. It's uh sculpture puzzles, uh, and they're like three D puzzles or something. And uh, this one is the kiss, and I think the kiss is meant to be a freight famous sculpture or something. I have heard of it before, but you know, I'd not really researched it or anything much, but I think it is this like, meant to be this famous sculpture. Um, and yeah, this is brand new and sealed. Now, I've seen quite a lot of these in charity shops, but they've always been opened, they've always been pre-owned, and I just don't deal with things like that when, when they're pre-owned, not puzzles or sculptures or, or sculptures or anything like that. Um, but this one was brand new and sealed, so it intrigued me. I paid five quid for that there i looked on ebay there's one gone for 17 quid plus post which is brand new and i think that was on buy it now i don't think that was auction it 
might have been auctioned, but I think it was buy it now. Um, but then there's other ones on. There's one on for about 50 quid, which is ridiculous. I don't think we're going to get that unless all the others kind of sell through theirs first. Um, but then there's one on. I think the lowest that's on is for about 28. So I'm thinking maybe go 24.99 plus my postage on it see what happens see if i can increase that selling price a little bit from the 17.99 and see if i can get that if not i should be able to get about 19.99 plus my 6.99 or whatever hermes shipping for it because it is very heavy actually this um so yeah picked it up hopefully i'll be able to get that 25 quid because it'll be a bit better for my five quid investment i would hope to get 25 quid you know if i'm paying five quid for something um so yeah, uh, quite a nice little item there, quite heavy actually, it was, um, when I was carrying it around, lugging it around, it really started to ache my arm because it was, it is quite heavy actually, it, it's deceptive, it doesn't look very heavy, but yeah, it definitely is heavy. Um, so yeah, anyway, five quid for that, I thought I'd pick it up, that was the first buy of the day as well. Next, we've got something that I usually avoid, which is these, uh, well, I, I tend to avoid a lot of them now, which is the Seenits. Um, definitely in pre-owned condition, obviously if they're new and sealed, it's another story. This one is new and sealed, but it's the version that I've kind of always avoided anyway. I'd never really pick up this, I think it's Squabble, is it Squabble? Is that how you say it? I'm not sure, but seeing it Squabble, um, I paid three quid for it. Now on Amazon, brand new and sealed, I did scan that puzzle into Amazon, by the way, but there was no results for it. Otherwise I would, I would maybe consider sending it into Amazon, but I don't know about the sculpture. I don't know whether that cla is classed as dangerous goods. Probably not, but I I'm not sure. But um, yeah, anyway, so I scanned this into Amazon. There's FBA co offers coming in at 28 quid, so yeah, I thought I'd pick it up. Um, on eBay, I don't think it seems to go for a lot, brand new and sealed, but I'll probably just put this in my quarter four stockpile and send it to Amazon. Now, the rank is quite high for, well, for my liking, which is 226,000 in toys and games, but bear in mind we are in July. I think at Christmas that'll get closer to maybe like 150,000 or 100,000 or something. So, well, hopefully it will anyway. So, um, yeah, I think I think it still will be able to get picked off at some point up at Amazon. So, three quid for that. Uh, three quid, yeah, three quid for that. Hopefully into around sort of 28 quid, something like that. So, pretty happy with that one. This was a nice little item. It's nothing really, really special, but I paid a really good price for it. I got it for a quid there, you can see. So, I was really happy with that. And it's very, very faint on the bottom there. But it says Langley. Um, and yeah, basically it's just this nice little uh, pot, you know, for your flower. You can put your soil in there and put some sort of flower in there. Um, it's just quite nice. And it's got this cool design, funky looking design on there. Um, and for a quid, I wasn't going to say no. I've sold similar ones of these for about 14 99 plus postage. So that's what I'm going to go for on that. 15 quid plus post from a pound investment. One pound into 15 quid plus post. I can do that all day long. I love I love picking things up for a quid when I know I'm going to get 15 quid, 20 quid back. Because it's a really, really strong margin, that. So, yeah, quid into hopefully around 15 quid there. Now, next is something that has been on my bucket list for quite a while. And it's an unusual item to have on your bucket list because it's actually... They're not rare. They're not really rare or anything. They're probably not even classed as uncommon, to be honest. They're probably quite common. But it's these Baby Sham glasses. You can see on the bottom there it says Baby Sham. Don't know how well it's been picked up. And then we've got a little... Is it a deer or a foal or something? I don't I don't know. I'm not sure. Not a, not a foal, because that's a horse. But what do you call it? Like a fawn. Is it a fawn? F-A-W-N. Is that right? But something like that in there anyway. Um, and they're quite short, these ones, actually. I don't know whether they did higher, taller ones as well. Maybe they did. Um, but yeah, I've always wanted to pick these up. And every time I've seen them in charity shops or... I think I've seen them at the auctions, but I've just not managed to buy the job lots they've been in. But they've always been sticking up at charity shops, like 10 or 15 quid, maybe even more. But these ones, I got a set of six of these, um, and I paid four quid for the set. I'll just get a few more of them up. I won't get all of them up, because they're all the same anyway. But, um, yeah. So I've got a set of six of these. Nice little baby sham glasses. I've got these, like, little gold rims on them. Gold looks okay, I think, on most of them. I've not really had a real detailed check. This one, actually, the gold is coming off a bit. Yeah, that one's gold's coming off a bit. I don't know how well you're going to see it. But, yeah, I thought, you know what? I'm going to pick them up. £4. I've looked on Complete and Sold for around a set of six. It depends because there's different... 
uh, logos of these. So you see that little, whatever that is there, a deer or a fawn or how, whatever you say. Um, whatever that is there, you have different styles of those. And I think that dictates the price a little bit. I don't think this is a particularly desirable one. The one where it's like really yellow and everything, it's kind of leaping. That seems to be a bit more of a desirable one. But I still think for a set of six of these ones, even just these shorter ones, um, I'll, be, I'll be looking around 15 to 20 pound plus my postage. If I could get close to that 20 quid, then I'd be more happy because obviously I paid the four quid. But I was happy just to pick them up. I just really wanted to get them off my bucket list. So even at four quid, I was just gonna I was gonna pick them up because I wanted to. Um, and yeah, it's just cool to finally find something that I've wanted to pick up for quite a while and find it at a half decent price. Uh, this, I've still got a few things that I want to pick up. What's, I'm trying to think of some of this stuff. I, I can't think off the top of my head to be honest. But there is probably about another three, four, five items that are a little bit rarer, more rare than these anyway, that I'd like to actually eventually pick up and, and tick them off my bucket list, but my kind of reselling bucket list. Um, but yeah, the, but I, I love it when I pick something like that up that I've wanted to pick up for quite a while. So yeah, anyway, that's those there. Nothing really, really special, but it was just nice for me to actually find them and pick them up. Um, so yeah, that is the haul. I've got, so I say, got about six items today, so that was pretty cool. Obviously, I'm classing the Baby Sham as one item, even though it, it, it's six items, but I'm going to list them as one item. So, yeah, with that being said, I'll leave it there, guys. If you did enjoy the video, then please do drop a like down below. If you haven't already, then please do consider subscribing to the channel. And I will see you in the next one. So I will see you very soon, guys. I'll give you what I got. The alcohol of that is flowing wild. So grab yourself a can of mine.